Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create assist moves in Universal Fighting Engine 2. Assist moves are a classic mechanic in fighting games. They allow the player to call another character to do an attack to help them extend combos or control the pace of battle. In UFE 2, it is fairly simple to create assist calls. Just make sure you have two characters created. One to call the assist, and the other to be the assist being called. Here is an example of an assist move that we will be creating. So the first thing we need to do is create the move. So I'm going to right click in my project folder, create, UFE, and then move file. And usually that will open up the move editor for us. I'm just going to move that over here. Um, or you could also click the move and hit open move editor. And that'll also bring up the move editor here. And I'm just going to call this syscall2. Then let's open up the general tab. Okay, so let's look at the fields we have here. We have our name, of course. And then we have execution cooldown. Execution cooldown is basically a period of time where the player can't execute the move again. And we don't want players calling the assist while the assist character is still on the stage, so we need to give this move an appropriate cooldown time before the player can use the move again. we're going to give this move a cooldown of 240 frames. Now if you look at our FPS architecture, we have it set to 60 frames per second, which means 240 frames would be exactly 4 seconds. And the next tab we want to pay attention to here is the animation tab. So we'll just open that up, and I actually already have an animation in mind called a syscall. And we're going to make sure the character prefab is set here. And once that's done, we can open it in animation preview. Make sure the rotation is correct. And we can scrub through that now. And it looks like our speed isn't set correctly, so I'm just going to hit apply here. And now we can scrub through that full animation. All right. Animation's looking good. Now we don't need any active frames because this isn't going to be an attack. But we do want to pay attention to the character assist tab. So this tab is a little unique. Um, it's going to assume that we already have a character in mind to be the assist, which we do. Um, it's going to be Robot Kyle, which we found here in our demo characters folder. And we just want to drag that character data file in. Relative spawn position is the position the assist character will appear in relation to your playable character. We want our assist character to spawn a little bit in front of our playable character, so we're going to make that a positive value of 1 for our x-axis. For the z-axis, we want the assist character to appear further from the camera than the playable character. So let's just set that to a positive value of 2. For the assist moves, we need to select an intermove and an exit move. Let's pick the intermove first. We want our assist character to throw a fireball. So I've picked the move Fireball Heavy here. And this is just one of Robot Kyle's example moves. You can find it in his moves folder. And for the exit move, it's going to be the move that he will execute after the fireball. So from our example moves, we're just going to pick Super Jump. And the reason we pick Super Jump is because it's an animation that's going to leave the assist character off the screen. And we want the character to be off the screen so we can despawn it without the player noticing. The casting frame is when the assist character will come out. So let's look at our animation here, and I think we want our assist to come out at about frame 10. And we're just going to give it an input now. No moves can be done unless there's an input, so we have to give it an input before we can execute the move. So we're going to hit button executions, button press, 
And for our case, we're just going to set it to button 4. Now there's one more thing we need to do to make this move usable. We need to open up our character data file in our character editor. We'll just highlight our character data file and hit open character editor. Let's move that over here. And now we need to assign the move to our character. So let's open up our move sets tab. And we're going to scroll all the way down to our attacks and special moves. Here you can see I already have a syscall from the example I made. We're just going to remove that real quick. Now we're going to hit new move and assign it a syscall to. All right, and that should be it. We should be able to test our move in game now. Let's go back to our move real quick by going to our move editor. And we just want to make sure our animation preview is turned off before hitting the play button. Let's just go to training mode and test out the move on our character. All right, as you can see here, when I press button four, the assist will come out, do a fireball, and then super jump off the screen. Take note of my button commands here. As you can see, I'm pressing button four. But because we set that execution cooldown at 240 frames, I have to wait 4 seconds after I call the assist before I can call the assist again. So that 240 frame cooldown is stopping me from using the move before it's completed. Okay, so let's look at our scene preview here just to see what's going on. Zoom the camera out, and let's slide our in-game preview over here. You can see when I zoom the camera out here that the character is super jumping away after using the assist. And that's that super jump animation that I added as the exit move. After the animation ends, the character will despawn. So make sure it's an animation that leaves the character out of view from the camera. So to recap, make sure your assist character has two moves. Here you can see the fireball heavy animation. And here is our super jump animation where he jumps off the screen. And if you scroll down this move to our self-applied forces tab, you can see we have a self-applied force that causes the character to jump out of view from the camera. All right, so that's how you create an assist move in Universal Fighting Engine 2. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments or ask in the Universal Fighting Engine 2 forums.